our topic for today will be looking at chemistry 1502 that is general chemistry 1b also known as organic chemistry then the topic that we are busy with it's under unit one of your study guide the topic for today is hybridization lesson 103 from the basics of lesson 101 let us start there are many ways to define hybridization but I normally use the most general simplest explanation in order for my students or the viewers to understand hybridization so in simple terms hybridization it's actually a process whereby orbitals are mixing in order for an atom to be able to bond and for you to understand this we are going to illustrate using drawings and also using the information that we have gathered or the concepts we've covered in lesson 101 and lesson 102 in lesson 102 we have learned about different types of orbitals we know that we have the s orbital we know that we have the p orbital and those are the most important or let me say common orbitals that we use in organic chemistry and also in hybridization we'll be focusing on those two in most cases but we'll also look at other hybridizations involving other orbitals like the d and the f now before we can get to hybridization we have to touch the lewis dot diagram a bit in order for us to understand it well now let us focus on carbon we know that carbon is in group number four and we know it's element number six as you can see and then the atomic number is six it, it tells us something about the electrons and the protons so during the atomic structure of carbon we are going to have something like this so right now I'm just reviewing the information or the concept we covered in lesson 101 and lesson 102. In order for you to understand this better, you have to refer to those lesson videos. Now since it is element number 6, it means it has 6 electrons and 6 protons. The protons are located in the nucleus, so it doesn't matter. Or let me say it's not that important to actually indicate them but what is important is the electrons so the first energy level which is n1 it only occupies two electrons and then the second energy level it occupies eight electrons but will stop on the fourth electron because remember that carbon it's element number six it must contain six electrons so you can see two plus four it's actually six and then we also talked about the valence electrons we can see the valence electrons we have four valence electrons of carbon in lesson 101 we covered how to draw Lewis dot diagram of an element or an atom if we know the atomic structure so we know that the Lewis diagram of carbon will be like this we only represent the valence electrons the valence electrons are the electrons you find on the outermost energy level of an atom so this is the lewis diagram of carbon now with this information let us talk about how they bond in order for us to understand hybridization let us talk about how elements actually bond now the reason why elements bond they are trying to reach octet state now the octet state the octet state it is, is there the reason why elements tend to bond or atoms tend to bond with each other they are trying to reach the octet state now the octet state is the state in which it is ideal all the elements they're trying to be in that state and the elements in group number eight 
The reason why we say they are ideal gases or novel gases is because they have reached the octet state, except for helium. Helium also reached octet, octet state for hydrogen. So we can say hydrogen bonds with other elements so that it can become like helium. Then all other elements, they are bonding so that they can become like these elements you see here. Now, now let us explain this in detail. We all know that oct means eight, octane, octave, octet. It simply means that if we have carbon with four valence electrons, it will bond with other elements so that it can have eight valence electrons and then we say it has reached the octet state. Like for example, let us look at CH4, which is methane. It means that we have one carbon atom, four hydrogen atoms. So each and every hydrogen will come with its electron. And then these electrons will bond with each and every electron from carbon. Then you are going to have something like this. Well, for now, let us not look at the shape. Let us look at the concept of bonding. So you can see that now carbon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. And looking at each and every hydrogen here, you can see that it has two valence electrons. Now looking at the Lewis dot diagram for helium. Helium it's like this and then hydrogen is like this so you can see that hydrogen wants to become like helium so it needs to bond or to share its electron so that it can have two valence electrons and then looking at carbon and then we can just take one of the noble gases here and then Draw the Lewis dot diagram. That's the Lewis dot diagram of neon. So in this case, you can see that neon has eight valence electrons. So carbon will tend to bond with other elements so that it can also have eight valence electrons and become like neon or one of the noble gas we have here. So with this information, let us go back here. Now we said in the last lesson video, the first energy level has the S orbital. The second energy level has the S and the P orbital. Now the mixing of this orbital, it's called hybridization. They mix so that it is possible for them to actually bond. Let us look at the electron configuration of carbon. So we have 1s2, 2p, 4. Now I'm giving you a task to check if this electron configuration is it correct. You can go ahead and pause the video just to double check that you have watched the last lesson video. Then confirm if it is not correct, write the correct one. Well, the electron configuration is not correct. Instead, it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. You can check here. It's 1s1, 1s2, 2s2, 2s2. 
I mean 2s1, 2s2, and then we have 2p2. That is the electron configuration of carbon. Let us go ahead and represent this using a bow diagram. In chemistry 1501, there is a lesson series that explains the quantum numbers and also the Avbau diagram was covered. So it's very important that you review the, that lesson video or you can request and then I'll simply send it. Now the Avbau diagram, we have 1s orbital here. We have the 2s orbital here. We have the 2p orbital here. So we want to represent this using the off power diagram. We're going to have the first electron, second electron. Fourth electron. And then we put other ones here. So this is the electron configuration of carbon. Now remember that we are looking at the mixing of these two orbitals. So we focus on the outermost energy levels. So it means that this one, you don't have to look at it. We are going to look at the 2s and the 2p. Now you should understand that in order for an element to bond, it means when other elements, they are coming. Since this is the last energy level, it means that when other elements bond meaning that coming with their hydrogen i mean their um, electrons for example hydrogen they will actually fill in this empty spaces or this single electrons when this one bonds we can associate it with this electron here this one bonds we associate it with this one here now looking at this i've bought diagram of carbon the way it is, you can see that it only allows carbon to bond two times since you have this here, this pair here. But we know that by nature, carbon wants to reach octet state. It means that it need to bond four times. But looking at our Vau diagram, that is not possible. So that is why the atoms, they undergo hybridization in order to bond. So in this case, we are going to mix these two orbitals. The very same mixing that we are talking about here is the mixing that we are doing here. So hybridization is when we take this 2s and we mix it with this 2p. When we mix the two, we are going to have something like this. So you can see that that 2s is here and then these are 2p since you know that it's px, py, and pz. So in this case, you can see that for the 2s, let us use this green color. And then for the 2p, let us use red. So when you mix these two, we are going to have something like this. This will be our 2s, and then this will be our 2p. So you can see that now we have four orbitals. And then in this case, we take this electron, we bring it here. So that we can have something like this. Now we have four electrons. And then since we are talking about carbon, it's like this. Let me do it like this. Then when we bring it, when we bring in four hydrogens, we know that one of them will bond here. And then we put that electron here for hydrogen. Another one will come here. We put another one here. Another one come here. Then another one comes here. Then you can see this, it actually makes sense with this one since we have eight electrons we also have eight electrons here but if 
we were to look at this the way it is you can see that it was not going to be possible for it to actually reach the octet stage or to support what is happening here so hybridization is basically when we try to make it possible for atoms to bond by mixing the orbitals and then we mostly focus on the outermost energy level orbitals now this is just an introduction of hybridization the next lesson video will be lesson 103.2 whereby we look at how to identify hybridization and how to or how to label or name the type of hybridization that is taking place that's it for this lesson video this is wahula sj thank you very much